good morning everyone so today i am here with you all to give you a review about the chapter 10 reaching the age of adolescence i hope you will understand the chapter better through this animation reaching the age of adolescence adolescence growing up is a natural process the various stages of growth in human beings are infancy childhood adolescence adulthood the stage of growth and maturity from about 11 years to 18 or 19 years of age is the period termed as adolescence the period of life when the body undergoes changes leading to reproductive maturity is called adolescence the person undergoing the age of adolescence is called adolescent puberty age at which the sex hormones and sex gametes begin to be produced and a boy or a girl becomes sexually mature to reproduce is called puberty changes at puberty and adolescence adolescence is a period of rapid growth and development both physical and mental during this period you are not considered as a child and you are not treated as an adult either the following changes are observed at puberty increase in height during puberty there is a sudden increase in the height of both boys and girls this increase in the height is due to the increase in the length of the bones of arms and legs along with the internal body organs this makes a person tall the graph between the average probable growth in the height of boys and girls with respect to age inheritance we generally notice that height of an individual is more or less similar to that of some family members this is because the height depends on the genes inherited from parents nutrition it is very important to eat the right kind of food during these growing years food rich in proteins and vitamins help the bones muscles and other parts of the body get adequate nourishment for growth change in body shape in boys shoulders broaden and the body muscles grow more prominently than in the girls the boys become more muscular in girls hips gain weight and the region below the waist becomes wider the development of breasts also begins during this period change in voice we know the voice is produced by the larynx or the voice box at puberty the voice box or the larynx begins to grow boys develop larger voice boxes the growing voice box in boys can be seen from outside in the neck this protruding part of the throat is called adam's apple in girls the larynx or the voice box is hardly visible from outside because of its small size generally girls have a high pitched voice whereas the boys have a low pitched deep voice increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands in human beings the skin has two important glands these are sweat and sebaceous glands the sweat glands produce sweat the sebaceous glands produce oil or sebum which keeps the skin oily during puberty due to the increased activity of sweat and sebaceous glands the secretion of sweat and oil increases adolescents get acne skin disease and pimples on the face at this time due to the increased secretion by these glands in the skin development of sex organs it is during the adolescence when the male sex organs like testes and penis develop completely they start to produce the male gametes called the sperms in girls the ovaries enlarge and start releasing mature eggs or ova reaching mental intellectual and emotional maturity during this exciting phase the adolescents start giving more importance to their friends their peer group and may give less importance to their parents or guardians 
they seek the company of friends, often feel confused, have emotional outbursts, feel sad or have strong emotions or moods that change quickly, become more independent and self-conscious, start feeling the need for acceptance and understanding, search for a unique social identity for themselves. Thus, this period has been denoted as a period of storms and stress, may feel insecure while trying to adjust to changes in the body and mind. They may take guidance from their parents and teachers who would be very happy to help them. Secondary sexual characters in males. Hair also grow on other parts of the body like chest and face, moustache, beard, etc. Body becomes more muscular due to the development of muscles. Chest and shoulders broadens, increase stature. Adult males are taller than adult females on an average. Heavier skull and bone structure. Testes produce sperms. In females, hair grow under armpits and pubic region. Ovaries start to release eggs or ova. Menstruation cycle, MC or monthly period starts. Hormones, the physical, mental, intellectual and emotional changes which occur at adolescence are controlled by hormones. Hormones are chemical substances. Hormones act as messengers, hence they are also called chemical messengers of the body. Hormones are secreted by endocrine glands or ductless glands. There are many endocrine glands in the body. Endocrine glands release hormones into the bloodstream. Hormones are chemical messengers that carry information and instructions. A hormone reaches a specific body part, such as an organ, tissue or cell, where the message is to be sent. Such a body part is called the target site. The target site responds to the hormone. Testes produce male sex hormone called testosterone and ovaries produce female sex hormones called progesterone and oestrogen. The pituitary gland secretes luteinizing hormone which stimulates testes and ovaries to release testosterone in males and oestrogen in females. The hormones are released in the bloodstream and reach the specific part of the body target site. The hormones bring about changes in the body at onset of puberty. In women, the productive phase begins at puberty, 10 to 12 years of age, and generally lasts till the age of approximately 45 to 50 years. In men, the reproductive phase begins at puberty, 14 to 15 years of age, and lasts as long as he is healthy throughout his life. Menstruation circle, MC. The sexual cycle in females or women is called menstruation cycle. Maturation of ova. Release of ovum from the ovaries into the fallopian tube, ovulation. Thickening of the inner lining wall of the uterus. If egg is not fertilized by sperm. Breaking of thick and soft lining of uterus. Thick and soft inner lining of uterus along with blood and dead ovum comes out of the vagina in the form of bleeding called menstruation. If egg is fertilized, menstruation stops. Fertilized egg develops into an embryo and then into fetus. An egg is released in a mature female body every 28 days. Menstrual cycle. Menarch. The first menstrual flow which begins at puberty in women is termed as menarche. Menopause. The stoppage of menstrual flow at the age between 45 to 50 years in females is called menopause. Determination of sex of a baby. All human beings have 23 pairs of chromosomes in the nucleus of their cells. Out of these 46 chromosomes, 44 are called autosomal chromosomes and are identical in males and females. The remaining two chromosomes out of these 46 
are called the sex chromosomes. They are termed X and Y, named after their shapes. In females, the cells contain two identical X chromosomes. So, the sex chromosomes in females are represented by XX type. The females with XX type pair of sex chromosome produce only one type of unfertilized eggs, having only X chromosomes. Males with XY type pair of sex chromosomes produce sperms of two kinds. One kind has an X chromosome and the other kind has a Y chromosome. Whether a baby is going to be a girl or a boy depends on which sperm fertilizes the ovum. If the sperm carrying the Y chromosome fertilizes the egg at fertilization, the zygote would have one X and one Y chromosome and develop into a male child. Now we know whether the baby would be a boy or girl depends on the father's sperm and not on the mother's egg cell. Role of hormones in completing the life history of insects and frogs. We have learnt about the life cycle of the silk moth in class 7. The larva or caterpillar has to pass through various stages to become an adult silk moth. The transformation of the larva into an adult through drastic changes is called metamorphosis. The metamorphosis in insects is controlled by insect hormones. Similarly, the tadpole passes through certain stages to become a frog. See figure 10.18. The metamorphosis in frogs is controlled by thyroxin. Iodine in water is required for production of thyroxin in the frog's body. If the water in which the tadpoles are growing does not contain sufficient iodine, the tadpoles cannot produce sufficient amount of iodine in the body and cannot continue the process of metamorphosis and hence cannot become adults. Reproductive health Nutritional needs of the adolescents We know the diet which contains adequate amounts of all the essential nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, minerals and vitamins sufficient for the normal growth and development of the body is called a balanced diet. Personal hygiene. Personal hygiene is needed to prevent the occurrence of diseases. The adolescents need to practice the important points of personal hygiene, which can prevent diseases. Physical exercise. For keeping good health, we should do regular physical exercise. Physical exercise keeps the body and mind fit. All young boys and girls should take long walks, brisk walking, running, cycling, exercises, yoga in open air to keep the body fit and healthy. Adolescence is a period of rapid cognitive, emotional and attitudinal changes. Adolescents can easily be tempted to be addicted to drugs, alcohol and tobacco because of the stress they undergo or because of adventure spirit. A positive adolescent must say no to drugs, alcohol and tobacco because these things cause many physical and mental diseases. Thank you very much children for watching the video. So in this chapter we have discussed about the changes during the adolescence that is puberty, then menarche and menopause, and then the sex determination in females. And we should be very careful about our reproductive health during this age. Right? Thank you so much.